lights, camera, action. Booyah! I do magic. I can do magic, baby. Anyways, guys, hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're doing a q and I got all this, this ratchet hand movement. Let's cut it out. Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If it's your first time here, hi and welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, today we're doing a Q&A so you guys can get to know me on a personal level. It's been about eight months since I've made a video or even released yet. So it's been like eight months since I released a video. And I, in, my last, in my last video, I mentioned that I will be doing a Q&A. So, you know, we finna get lit. What's your name? My name is Kerri Ann. Um, my dad named me Kerri Ann. That's where I got my name from, to be fair. My dad named me. Um, people call me Kerry for sure. People call me Kez. Keza, Kells. Um, my YouTube name came from my my essentials, you know. My YouTube name came from my initials. So it's like KSW and it's K Styles Wardrobe. Um, KSW is the name on my Instagram as well. So yeah, like everything that I brand myself on is like around my initials. Um, next question is. How old are you? I am 23 years old. I turned 23 this year in May. I'm a Gemini baby. Okay, I'm a Gemini baby. And let me tell you something. Gemini people are lit. You need a Gemini in your life. If you don't have a Gemini in your life, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Like Gemini people are lit. They're the best. What do you do with yourself? I study criminology at university. I work part-time and I do YouTube. Right. Right. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. Okay. What do you like about yourself? I like the fact that um, I'm a very caring person. I like the fact that I give out a lot of love, even though I shouldn't sometimes because people don't really reciprocate that energy. Um, what else do I like about myself? I like that I'm, yeah, very family orientated. Um, so overprotective when it comes to my friends. Um, I like my personality. Even though I feel like sometimes I can be a bit boring, I like my personality. Um, what else do I like? That's it. That's it. Oh, yeah, and I like the fact that I'm really creative as well. I'm so creative. I love that about myself. What don't you like about yourself? I don't like the fact that I can be stubborn. That trait of mine is so disgusting and I'm working on it. I'm not perfect, but I'm working on it. That's what I don't like about myself. Um, another thing that I don't like about myself is that I'm not a consistent person. And consistency is the bridge between dream and reality. So I'm gonna continue dreaming about all the things that I wanna make my reality if I don't break this bad habit of mine of not being consistent. So yeah, I like the fact that I'm not consistent. Um, appearance wise, I do not like my weight. I hate my weight. I'm really struggling right now to shift this fupa. It just needs to go. So yeah. Next question, where have you been and why have you been off YouTube for so long? So I've been off YouTube because I needed to remain sane because the people in Pitney were driving me crazy. No, I'm joking. I was off YouTube because I was going through a lot of things. I had things that were going on with my family. I had things that were going on with myself. I felt like I needed to understand myself as well. Um, and during that time, I was talking to God a lot. I was praying a lot. I fasted. Um, I was reading, no, I wasn't reading sermons. I was watching sermons, um, just having intimacy with God and stuff. And I just felt like I needed to put a pause on everything because I had no faith. Like, I was faithless. I didn't have faith in anything that I was doing. So I just needed a bit more, of, like, I just needed reassurance. So I had to speak to God. And, yeah, that's it really. That's why I've been off YouTube for so long. And I just needed time to spend with my friends and my family, my sisters, and just feel happy again because I felt like I wasn't happy especially with me gaining weight and stuff and other things that were going on in my life I just wasn't really happy so I didn't want to come on the screen and pretend to be happy knowing deep down that I was struggling and I had battles 
that I had to face. So yeah, that's why I've been off YouTube. For so oh yeah, and another reason as to why I was off YouTube, I just felt like I was watching a lot of people around me and what they were doing. And, and I needed to understand that those people have their private time with God or however they do this whole attracting good things towards them. They had their own private time. So for, for me, I felt like I needed my own time with God to say, look, this is the things that I want. Like, how do I get it? Or not even like in a selfish way, but like if you ask, God will bless you, bless it. No, God will bless you if you ask for certain things. So I just felt like I needed to understand what my purpose was as well. And I don't know, I just felt like I was watching a lot of people around me as well. And I just needed to understand that these people achieve these things because it in their private time, they're working really hard. Like you can't just ask for something and expect to be blessed with it. So I just felt like I needed time to understand why I was going through certain things and why certain things wasn't happening for me. So yeah, that's another reason why. What is your favorite store to shop in and why? Okay, so in terms of going in stores, I would say Zara is my favorite store to shop in. Um, simply because they cover your whole wardrobe, like your basic wardrobe pieces, the essentials that you need, um, your jeans, they do, they do. I feel like in 2020, I'm gonna take some speech lessons or some English lessons because my tongue always jitters and I sound like I'm dyslexic or I sound like I'm stupid. Yeah, so like, like I was saying, Zara do the best clothes ever. They cover your whole wardrobe. They do the best jeans. They even, I think they're starting to cover like loungewear now and I really, really like that. Um, so like, yeah, in stores, Zara, they're just the best. They never seem to fail us. They can't fail us. Like Zara just does wonders. Um, in terms of online, I would say PLT. PLT is always my go-to, like, Especially when you want something you saw Kim in or Kylie, they just always pull through the good dupes. So for me, I would say PLT online is the best. After PLT, maybe misguided, maybe. But my go-to online, definitely PLT. What's your favorite food? My favorite food is um, Jamaican food. I love a good cooked Jamaican food. I enjoy Jamaican food. I love it from the porridge to the soups, the fruits, the snacks, everything that Jamaica does, I'm involved. Duh. But yeah, I love Jamaican food. If it's not if I'm not eating Jamaican food, I would love a good pizza. Like I adore pizza. Like okay, the next question is what's your biggest lesson learned from life, friendships and relationships? Um I would say in terms of life, I've learn how to look at it as what's this teaching me and not why is this happening to me like even though we go through struggles in life and stuff we have to understand that it's helping us to get to the next level in life and just to elevate us as a person in terms of friendships i've had a few failed friendships some of them have just been that i've outgrown someone we just can't remain friends because we're obviously going to two different people that don't get along anymore and there's nothing wrong with that it's just life that happens sometimes people are deluded i put it, I, i'd be a, as real as i can some people are actually just deluded and they believe that everyone around them is the crazy one but really and truly they are the crazy ones um what i've learned is that sometimes it's not you people are actually deluded like they're crazy but they make you feel like you're the crazy one because they don't know who they are and they didn't love themselves so sometimes friendships can feel like and other reasons i would say is that um yeah you outgrow people as well not everyone you you are friends with in like year seven ten eleven college uni you're going to be friends with you outgrow other people so you don't see the same things how you used to see when you was younger and that's fine there's nothing wrong with that so yeah that's what i've learned in terms of friendships another thing i've learned is that not everyone is your friend and that's fine like you could have like your genuine people and then you could just have people that you, that are your associates so you should always what i've learned is just know the difference between associates and your friends do you know what i mean so that's what i've learned in terms of friendships in terms of relationships i've never had a boyfriend before because i've never been wifed what the hell Whatever. but i've spoken to people and what i've learned is that you have to know how to value yourself know your worth as well and understand that you can be treated the way you want to be treated the whole kylie and travis vibe if you want that there's someone out there that can do that for you 
don't settle for less as well like do not settle for less that's what i've learned as well and yeah where do you see yourself in two to five years mm. two to five years in two years i see myself being a business owner for a well-established business yes i will be the biggest boss baby you know 110 percent um in five years time i see myself being a mom and a wife owning my own house probably doing business in retail not retail god forbid probably doing business in property management or something something of that sort so yeah between the two to five years that's what i see myself doing next question what's your 2020 goals okay my 2020 goals are quite premature because i've only after my eight months i understood what i was supposed to be doing so my 2020 goals are quite premature i don't want to talk on them too much but i do have some things up my sleeves ha! did you get what i done there sleeves up my no okay. no <laughs> <laughs> no joking my 2020 goals yeah they're quite premature right now so i don't want to speak about them but um i think they're gonna be pretty sick to be fair watch me watch the space room boy watch the space come on <laughs> okay what's something you wish you did different this year um i don't wish i done anything different this year i feel like everything happened for a reason so i don't wish i had done anything different this year what's happened has happened and i can't take it back i can only accept it um the only thing i wish i'd done different was actually is book my flight to bali longer than five nights because that was a joke i legit took 20 it took me 21 hours to get to bali and i spent five nights there i'm actually the joke so yeah that's something i wish i'd done differently other than that i don't wish i'd done anything different even though this year was very crazy for me i have to accept it for what it is and move on and take the lessons that i've learned with from this year and take the lessons that I've learned this year with me. So yeah, like even in the sermon that I was watching, the pastor said, what's crazy in one season will always be counted as faith in another season. Like the place of your greatest storm will always, no, will also be the place of your greatest miracle. So even though this year might have been the worst for me, in the next season of my life, it's gonna be counted as faith because I had to use faith to get through, to, get through it. So I can't wish to do anything different because it would have made my face stronger so yeah that's one thing i would say um oh my god where my notes gone <gasps> guys did you delete it oh Woo! okay next question summer or winter girl summer I love summer. I love the early mornings, the warm evenings. I love the rooftop bars. I love the day parties. I love the no jackets. It's just nice. No makeup. It's the best, best season ever. I love summer. I don't like winter because it's just too cold. The only reason why I like winter is just that the house, the house is always warm. So I mean, you always look forward to going home. Other, other than that, I can't adjust to this horrible weather. Like I've lived in this country since I was five and I still can't take the cold. So I don't like winter. And, for, and, and I was born in Jamaica. So like, I don't see how I could ever like the cold. Negative, negative. What's your religion? Um, Christian, Christian? Christianity, however you want to take it, but I say I've got a relationship with God um, and I'm really building that relationship right now because my end goal is to be, not even an end goal because it's never an ending when, when you start a journey with God until he says your time is up on this earth. So yeah, I am building a relationship with God and I'm enjoying it. It's lit guys. Jesus is life no banks like jesus is actually live get to know him um do you want to get married i do want to get married i really do want to get married i don't want to get married anytime soon because i'm not looking for a man because they stink and i hate boys not even boys yeah this is, yeah because i've dealt with some serious boys childish but yeah i do want to get married i do want to get married um maybe like when i'm 26 
Oh my god, it's in three years. No. Maybe like 28, 29, 30. I don't know. Or whenever. Whenever God blesses me with my husband, we'll get married when the time is right. But I would love to get married when I'm like 30. Um, how many kids do you want? Um, I want maybe four or six. I don't know. I don't know this yet. When I was growing up, I wanted four. I wanted two of my own and I wanted to adopt two. But now I don't know how many kids I want. I would just, however many, however many I get blessed with, I will accept it. But yeah, I don't know. It's between four or six. Who knows? Um, where do you wish to take your YouTube? Um, I will go wherever YouTube takes me, whether it be bigger platforms or whatever. I would love to take YouTube wherever it can take me. Um, I would love to go down the creative side, like the creative director sides. Um, because I just like to create new stuff. I told you guys, I'm so creative, I'm like full of ideas. So yeah, I wouldn't mind going down that, that road. Um, what else? I don't know. Where would I like to go with YouTube? I would go anywhere with YouTube, to be fair. I really, really love this platform. It opens so many doors. And I feel like it's great for people that's got like creative content. So I wouldn't mind going anywhere on this YouTube journey. I really, really, really love YouTube. Even though I had like a lot of anxiety coming back on YouTube, I really, really was scared to even release this video. But I know that I'm supposed to be doing YouTube, so I'm here forever until it's time up and I got to get out. I'll but yeah, no, honestly, I will go anywhere YouTube takes me. Seriously, I love this platform so much. It's the best. So yeah. So that brings me to an end of my q and A. I I hope you guys got to understand me a little bit more. I feel like the reason why it took me so long to um, release this video is because I suffer, not even suffer, I'm not gonna like diagnose myself with something that I don't know that I've got it. But like I have really bad, I have really bad anxiety and I lack confidence when I speak out for too long because I feel like I'm thinking about what I'm saying and then when I want to say it, it doesn't come out right. So I was really, 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 really struggling to make this video and release it. But I just thought to myself, I can't be perfect and I can't try and do a video perfect. It is what it is. If you understand what I'm saying, then you understand what I'm saying. But yeah, I just thought I'd share that with you guys because it was really a struggle for me to release this video. But here we are again with another video. Um, I am going to release a haul sometime soon after this. So do look out for that because I did purchase some things over um, the Black, Black, is it Black Friday? Yeah, Black Friday sale on the weekend. So um, yeah, look out for that. I'm going to leave all my social media down below. And yeah, Period. hope you enjoyed this video. Period. Period. Bye. Bye guys.